Yo, so we're at the airport, about to head out. Um, we're on time, you know what I mean? HA temporary tattoo 136, bro. 136, the flight's at 150. We got Chris right here. We got Stanny. We got Nick with the drip. Oh, the drip. Got my dad, zero drip. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, he's scary. <gasps> oh! Help me. Oh, I could have. <laughs> Yo, so we kind of made it. We're in Vegas. And it's cold, you know? It's nice. I wonder what temperature it is outside, but so far, it's nice. Like, I'm pretty sure you wore the same shirt in the last Vegas vlog. If you're a gambler in Vegas, this is where you wanna. And you're up, might as well be acting up. Stanny acting up. Stanny so up, he acting up. So we're gonna go eat right now. The boys are starving. You gotta feed the boys. Oh God. Chris, do what they're doing. Do what they're doing, try it. <laughs> Ooh, I love the chili right there. <laughs> I don't even think you got it. I don't even know if we'll be able to record in there, huh? Might got to do it secretly. Dude, do you think we'll be able to record? No. No, absolutely not. Damn. There goes the vlog. Yo, we out here, bro. Focus. Who are they calling? Who are they on the phone? Oh, he's busy. I'm good. <laughs> They're faking it. Look. <laughs> oh, true. To, not, to make it not look goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, guys, we're at the Venetian right now. Chris, Nick, Stanny went to go get <laughs> My dad and I, we went to go play blackjack and learn how to play. I three times my money. I came in with 100. I left with 350. And now it's 11.30 before the day of the trade show and we're playing Smash, bro. Let's get it. Pick your character, Nico. Stop. Stop doing that. <laughs> Where was that at? <laughs> Alright. I don't know how to play this guy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we kill him. He destroyed. He's so tired. Dude, how many pieces of time? Look at this. Unfortunately, I'd be rage quitting. Nick, what should we have for breakfast, dog? Say it. Say pot. The best. Curry pot. Bro. Curry pot again for breakfast. Like Honestly, it's probably the least favorite Indian cuisine I've yeah. had, but yeah. it's food, it's substance. It's a little weird. Oh, I wish Popeyes was open. Hey, Dad, what should we get for breakfast? I got it. I got a cider right now. Let's just go to a diner. Denny's? That's, 30, that's an hour out the way of here. That's true. We should just go to the food court. They serve oh, beer at that Denny's. We in Walgreens. Oh yeah, no, we're going to the food court. We're gonna have uh, acai bowls. Acai. You know me and Nick don't roll like that, bro. Me and him need a burger first thing in the morning. Is that true? Yeah, we can try it. Look. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. We eat that shit to be calm. Let's get it. Hey, but who's trying Good to night. play Minecraft? <laughs> bro, that looks like the most peaceful sleep I've ever seen occur in the Venetian. 
Smells like mad. We getting hydrated. And then let me hit that. We up. got Stanley. We got Chris. But yep, we're getting ready to go right now to the trade show. Fit check. Get some coffee and hit the show up. Yo, what's up, guys? Right now, we're about to go to the JCK Jewelry Show. We're going to go look for suppliers. We're going to go talk to suppliers. Chris is going to go look for camera equipment. Basically, what we did two years ago, but um, this is just a jewelry trade show. It's strictly jewelry. This is a strictly jewelry trade show, man. We're going to go. Whole team is wearing HJ. We're HJ. We're going to go see what happens, man. Let's go. Yeah, we're good. I even want to go to the shops, dude. Got the... Blueberry chai latte with oat milk. Okay, just water? Oh, black. That's H2O Jolt. H2O Jolt is just bleep, bleep that out, bro. I'm, and I'm trying to teach him how to be a responsible gambler, too. Don't get hooked. Just play to have fun. Don't play to make money. Walk away when you're up or also walk away when you're down. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll get him tied up so that he can show you next time. Okay? Sounds good. I'm going to pass you back to the media guy. That looks dope. A little chai energy. I'll either have these or those, to be honest. Probably not as bank, but <laughs> I feel good. Hong Kong Central Tech. We just got into the trade show. We didn't have to like really sign in anything. We got our badges, so we're going through, bro. Let's see what we could so let's see what we could find. Chris is gonna show you a little bit of what's around us. Volume 2 is going to be that big. Volume 2 is actually going to be bigger than this. In influence. It's a 3D printer. 3D you see printer. he made 11 samples on one block. Literally within 4 by like 2 inches, dude. This is how it uh, formulates. These are done by a, our parent company. These are actually uh, stainless steel. They're printed in with, with the material. I do want to get a 3D printer. I don't know about for jewelry, but maybe for like, well like sampling jewelry, but not like this. Not like we use it to literally cast the jewelry, but I just want to like 3D print some literal jewelry that you could wear, you know? See it on person. See how big it is in real life, you know? Okay. That's something that like one of my designers told, like showed me. He's in Russia and he has like this crazy 3D printer. So he'll like design the jewelry and then plug like, a 3D print it in like a, like a green jello type thing and he puts it on and he's like this is what it looks like bro like this is the size and everything that would be cool but it takes like 12 hours to do it you know yeah. 3d printer shit. That's but that's way I mean. faster than like I mean, seeing it overseas like yeah. three weeks to see like a sample in person at least i know how and then like you see it in the gel resin he showed me the ring of suffering in like a green jello resin i was like bro that's sick and then it came out way sicker in person you know they got trying to sell stanley though <laughs> You can engrave inside ring, outside ring. Yeah. This one, deep engraving. The outside letters. Yeah. Well, like could we engrave one of the rings? Yeah. Could we engrave one yeah. of these? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, after this we gotta keep moving. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Could we do it like... No. We don't need this table. <laughs> they got scales over there too. They got what? They got scales. Scales. 
what are we here for? How much is tarnished jewelry costing you? Us. <laughs> you know, because some things are inevitable. Not all of our pieces are perfect at the end of the day. To uphold incredibly high standards for our customers, you know, always being our number one priority, we're always going to take care of a piece that, you know, bad things are happening to. So, just a couple questions I have for this guy. We went to go see some packaging, some copper line packaging. Dude explained to us what that does is it'll protect our jewelry from tarnishing. So for example, this little baggie right here, this is full of copper, lined with it, put your jewelry in there, wipe off all the oils, put it in there, seal it up, and then that's good. It won't tarnish for about a year. Crazy. The tags, it stays on pretty well. It comes off pretty well too, but the only thing I don't like about it is that it's plastic, you feel? No, dude, like literally this one, but maybe like thinner. Cause I like how this one looks a little bit, but like half is half is thick, but we do it like here, adhesive right here, boom. Yeah, easy. You know, instead of us putting those big like tags, you know, the hard jewelry tags, instead of putting those big tags, I just want to put like these little tags on each one so it's pre-made so that the team doesn't have to do it like during production or during fulfillment, you know? Okay, well, let me let me put a better picture up there if you're gonna video something. Awesome, yeah. Something. Uh, that's fire. That whole demo over there. Something definitely we're gonna look into. Like that, I've never seen anything like that, especially for something as small and precise as jewelry. Dude, so I came back to get a battery, and here we are with Stanny. Yep, we're up again. Well, I had some questions about ultrasonic jewelry cleaning. It's just a completely new concept to me. I knew it exists and all that. So here I am getting a first-hand experience, basically cleaning up the chain I've been wearing for about a year and a half, two years. I've only cleaned it once. This water was super clear when I put it in there. And now, it's a little bit of murk, you know? Mm -hmm. So we just pull it out now. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, it'll have like, you know, like dead skin over like a couple years and stuff like that. Freaking <laughs> yeah. camping trips, all that. I wear that thing everywhere. But beautiful, man. What we're dealing with in here would be a mixture of water plus the solution. But because this is 925, say like with a rhodium plating, he actually recommends just using this solution without water. And that's mm -hmm. very educational, man. I appreciate you sharing all of this okay, information no with me today. Yeah. You're sweet, man. You guys, chain cleans. Night and day. Wait, wait, shit. was it content though? Like that I should record for my chain? It's basically gonna get all the oils and dirt out of it. Let's go do it. Let's, let's go take me. How, how dirty you are. <laughs> how dirty you are, bro. You don't clean your jewelry. My neck dirty. Oh, wow. It didn't look that dirty when it went in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Get it? And then just wipe it. Dang, it does look clean. It does look clean as hell. That's so awesome, dude. So they said that they put like a dozen chemicals in the jewelry cleaner. Nah, bro. No, no chemicals. So like what Sean told me, because he did jewelry cleaning for like 10 years. No chemicals, just minerals like clay and like water. You know what I'm saying? And then just like shake it up in a bottle or whatever. Just natural stuff because chemicals will over time, you know, erode anything. Like I'm even kind of sus that I put this through there just because like a dozen chemicals and they don't even know what chemicals are in there. You know what I'm saying? That's sus. Right here, it kind of looks like they'd be stamping their jewelry. So you could use this to make like new kinds of chain links, new kinds of designs for chain links and stuff. Like a whole line of just like those leaf patterns, that'd be a chain. Like a bracelet. We found inspo, we, we caught vibes. We've been here like three hours. Well, like right loose. now, it looks like we've hit a corner of this place where it's just all like a little bit of what we'd consider fine jewelry, you know? Uh, precious metals and gem settings all over the place. I like the look of this one right here. That's a vibe, that's a vibe, you know? But yeah, quite frankly, you know, there's not a lot I could learn in this section. So I'd just like to move on to another space where that actually inspires me. I'd also like to add that I don't know if a manufacturer is going to be here that could withstand our like wants and needs. If they're at a jewelry trade show, do we really want them to be manufacturing for us? Does that make sense? It's like you want a girl, but like she over here advertising to everyone else. 
That's just straight out of the book of facts. <laughs> I want tables, I want stanchions, and this is what you get. Bro, no cap, next event, we're like hand doing all of our shit. We were, were gonna like spray paint the stanchions, bro. But like, that's the inspo I'm talking about. Hey, Sam. Yeah, we should leak more stuff in the YouTube videos too. But this is volume two, I think. Hard times, bro. He's got the HJ on. This is what happens when you resell hard jewelry. He's got the HJ logo on him. This homie, this homie getting clapped, bro. Earring idea. You screw it into your ear. There'll be like a pole that you screw in. Meanwhile, in the soft jewelry galaxy on a distant planet, soft jewelry is wreaking havoc and mutating its people. It's up to Hard Willy to stop the madness. Green goblins, bro. He's reaching his final form. They scared, bro. <laughs> So we're about to go learn about rhodium right now, bro. Rhodium is basically what 99% of silver jewelers play their shit with rhodium. We play our stuff with rhodium, a high micron. Not as high as like I would like to. It just costs so much. Rhodium is the most expensive metal in the world. I want to go learn more about it, bro. Let's go. I'm just thinking that like, dude, we're so different than like other jewelry brands, bro. Like I hope that this like inspires other people to get into jewelry. You know what I mean? Just like being like, what the. F like, Will can do this with his homies. Will's homies want to do this with him, you know? Yo, our battery died, but what I was saying is like, I just want to be able to inspire people, whether they land on this video, whether they find our Instagram, I just want to let you know that it's possible to learn, do shit with your homies, and your homies will want to do it with you, you know what I'm saying? Just find the right homies. Let's go. Got the infinity stones, man. They've been looking, they're right here, G. Why are we at the gold section? I want to make gold HJ pieces. I think it was. So you guys do manufacturing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I follow you on Instagram. No, that way. shit is lit. No way. Our jewelry, yeah, yeah, I saw your face. I'm good with faces. So I Yo, bro, that's yeah, crazy. Let's say we want to order like a piece like this. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you guys be able to do that? Yeah, in gold. In gold. Yeah, yeah. I take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> so look at my 3D pieces. That one I can do in 3D. It's gonna be super Yo, light this with is so sick. much detail. It's gonna be super Yo, light this with is so sick. much detail. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, where are we heading next? We're gonna go to Essentials and Tech. Meet up with Stanny. For example, if a customer wants to try on a ring, right? They get up. Bro, if we had jewelry displays, I would hella do some sh like this, bro. Yeah. It would be like curated for the pendant. It wouldn't like be shining right here, but it would be like around it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, bro. <laughs> so how does it come in that box? So there's LEDs, the LEDs on them, four blades that are just going 700 RPM. I'm learning about some cool sh right now. Chris is gonna go recharge his battery. We're kind of done for the day. I kind of want to come back. It's 3 p.m. I don't know. We might just have to spend all day here tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna go back to the hotel room, recharge our batteries, recharge our legs. <laughs> you caught me on camera, bro. <laughs> I'm all trying to cop elegantly. Caught in 4K. Caught in 4K, bro. Your parents got swag, dude. <laughs> dude your parents do got swag. Mm -hmm. Your dad looked like he's taking care of business, man. Like, he holding the fort down. No. He holding mama down. He supporting the kids and their dreams. He's the guy you want to see when you hire a contractor. Seriously, man. No, work ethic is yeah. like Chris, through the roof, man. Your dad is that guy, pal. Yeah, yeah dude. Thank guy. you. Thank you, Leo. All right, so we come back here to work or what? Smash this out. I'm gonna run some ass real quick. What's this smell like? <laughs> Keyboard going mad wild. Look, I didn't even know buttons do this to the screen. Let's get Liddy and go to bed early so we can go to the show and actually be productive. No. <laughs> Serious, man. Like I said in the first Vegas vlog, I got trade tickets nobody knows about. I'm talking chemistry. What'd you guys go do, by the way? We just went for a walk. We just went for a walk. Dude, I was so cold in here. I wanted to go outside. Bro, Billy's like, how much money did you lose when we walked past you? I'm like, bro, I cashed in with two black chicks. Chicks. Chips. Came back with one extra, bro. I made a hundred bucks while Ooh. I said 15 minutes. Bro. Just like that? Just like that, bro. Holy Just shit. like that. You've been doing, you've been doing good, bro. Well, I've also been doing it for like 22 years. Started from the bottom with these two. Ended up halfway with those four. These are one dollar chips, but that's a hundo. Let me see who called me real quick, though. Oh, missed call. Somebody calling me from Idaho. 
So, me and Nick just got food. What happened last night? Basically, don't climb things that you're not supposed to climb. Yeah, we all got a little f***ed up climbing this uh, pole. The camera though! He was climbing this pole. Where are they going? He took his Crocs off. And the rest is history. You got it, you got it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yo, that's a no-go. That's yeah. a no-go. Since <laughs> he can't walk, we got him this food. Oh, yeah. Yo, what's up, guys? Let's do it. Okay, so game plan? We're going to work for like two hours. Nick, I need you to call Saul. Just do I saw you, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually genius, bro. <laughs> For what though? <laughs> that shit gonna that shit gonna melt. Okay, so we're gonna go to the trade show for a little bit, and then we're gonna go swim. Okay, guys, it's day two. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. We're about to go to the convention for like an hour. Go see what's up. And yeah, last day at the convention. Let's we'll see how it goes. Honestly, I want to go back to downtown tonight. I'm down to go back, man. Maybe go to a new hotel too. That does like $10 buy-in. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm doing trade shows from now on. How much does it cost to rent? He's finding out right now at the information booth. Wouldn't that be dope, just rolling around in these things? A little bit. Bro, I thought I could get myself like a ruby for personal. I gotta pay like $2,000. It's like the least amount. It's a lot. <laughs> Where are we headed now, Nick? We're going back downstairs. <laughs> Alibaba has virtual trade shows, bro, with verified sellers. And to be verified on Alibaba, you have to go through like a rigorous course. I think I've told you already. You gotta be like five years in the business. You gotta like, they do like seven inspections on your business. No late shipments, no defaults, no disputes on your account. And they got virtual trade shows for that, bro. So it's just way less fun, obviously, you know what I mean? But it's more lucrative. There's no wholesalers, only manufacturers on there too, so. That's where we're trying to That would be the number one place to, to go. Everybody here is wholesaler. Hey, watch out, you're safe. It's not run if you put too much weight on it. You get it for the entire event. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that like every time, every single time, no matter the convention. I'm gonna ask him, where's the scooter rental? For places this big, they just have to have them. It's sick. Dude, look at this. Look, I really like this, bro. Bro, it's called the Figaro Curb. Bro, it's like really nice, bro. Like. Because that's what the figure kind of lacks is like width. Let me drive the boat. No, am, no, no. Let me I drive am, the boat. I am the content. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo. It's chocolate. <laughs> no, he's gone. He's gone. And we do, uh, we can do open, oh, open, open face too. Oh, yeah. Same process for the caps. I think when we do them, we can make them better. More love. How much is he selling them for? Ten bucks. Ten bucks a tooth. Hang <sighs> around until I have to return it. Okay, try to find some cool uh, people. Yeah. Some some booths you haven't seen or whatever. Yeah. This this is like little people that are interesting every now and then. Yeah. We'll be at the pool, bro. Look, I'm gonna go like this. Like 30 minutes or something. A massage do sound nice, but let's go to the pool. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna get going, guys. See you <laughs> He's playing Pokemon Go, bro. <laughs> bro, that's gonna be Sandy in 2050. <laughs> Save the planet. <laughs> Give me skin, bro. Someone. I'm out. Here, outside. 
We're gonna go swim. Chris is about to get dunked, baptized, sunk, sunk. Yo, guys, we're going to the pool right now. It's gonna be cool. Let's go. Okay, so we're in the pool right now. Venetian. It closes in 30 minutes. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, I don't mean to flex right now, but let's do a little fit check. Yeah. Yeah. We're just chilling at the pool right now. They've been like this for like 10 minutes. But yeah, we're about to leave soon. We gotta get going. This guy just told us we gotta go. So, we're leaving. All right, so we're done with the pool and we're gonna go to our dinner reservations at seven o'clock. Nick needs a boat. We're going downstairs, right here, guys. Every, but there was like an hour and a half wait. No. No. Yeah. That looks clean, man. This is your first Thank you. Nick. What's up, bro? My dad? No. Just look. <laughs> oh Nick. Oh soft. Lazy. Lazy. <laughs> Man. I've seen harder. You USPS Chuck. Alright, we just got to a casino. We gotta not stay too long, bro. I'm feeling semi look. Let's go. Alright, so we're at uh, stations right now and we kind of just lost everyone just lost a hundred dollars within like 10 minutes so we're kind of calling it a night $25 all right so it's 5 30 in the morning whole gang here bro whole gang a little bit no nah, we ain't tired we hard maybe not the best decision i've ever made in my life definitely not the worst but yeah we here Nick. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I love you so much. I'm out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'd be rage quitting. Oh, I'd be pressing A, though.